Alright, is this thing going? What's up, guys? I'm Fathead, and this is, this is what I look like. You know, it's impressive. Uh, it's, it's been a while. Uh, been busy. Really busy with work. And a lot's changed on here. As of this recording, we are at 222 subscribers. With over, I think, like... 22,000 overall views on this channel, which is just crazy to begin with. Uh, so, lots has changed. We got a new addition to the um, family, I guess you could say. Um, I don't have the Red Cat Gen 8 anymore. Uh, I traded it for a laptop that I'm going to hopefully use to. Um, uh, learn how to edit and make these videos look better. So, on that note, this is Sergeant Bobble. <laughs> um, I'll show you why in a second, but mainly this head right here, it moves. So, it's Sergeant Bobble. It started out as a SCX 10 2 deadbolt obviously as you can see but I have wraith axles under it with the incision wraith links to give it some down low weight um, I have the wheels and tires from my wraith that is now in parts somewhere so you might get rid of it or wait till I get some inspiration to use it eventually so I have some things for this guy. Just got back from the hobby shop a couple hours ago. Got out of a meeting and we are going to show you what I got and install these things. So, got some Proline dual stage foams. We can get a, a nice close up of this. Got those. So those off to the side. Got a whole whole bag of goodies right here. So, these electronics. They're just temporary. Just to get me going. Got a hobby wing uh, quick run. Brushless censored ESC and motor. Maybe if we focus up on this. There we go. There's that. And yeah, there's the electronics we're going to be putting in this guy. And then for the tires, I've been on a pit bull rock piece craze lately. So I'm going to pick up some of those. It's the Pitbull Rock Beast 2 Alien Compound. Yeah, there we go. I got those. We're going to be putting on there. And we got a Vanquish Bumper. Here's the price. And Info on that. Uh, okay. Anyway. So, so it's got the normal controller that comes with these. I think it'll work out for now. Not a big controller, um, freak, Nazi, or whatever you want to call them. Not and moving on, anyways. So let's start by no, let's go easy. Let's do this bumper real quick. Probably don't have to take the body off, but why not? Okay, there's the bumper. And it's just uh, 
tool that. Looks like it's just a two millimeter hex. It's just a, yeah, that's gonna come off for this bumper. So we're taking off the front chassis brace that holds the bumper in. And here's what that screw looks like. Do that whole YouTuber focus hand trick thing. See if it works on this. Anyway, you can see the size of it. There's one on that side, and one on this other side that we're gonna get to. So, yeah, it's been a while, guys. Been what, two months since the last one? Then plan on waiting that long to get this little, I guess, break. Uh, not a little break, I just don't really have time to uh, get a video going. Alright. So, the Vanquish Bumper, my first one, I gotta say. And I've got a rear bumper coming in. Should be, I think, Friday or Saturday from SSD. So, slide those in. Bring you guys in here a little closer. Alright, so, let's see here. Yeah, so it just slides right on in. And through the channels right there fits like a glove and then in the case the package comes with your instructions you don't have to drill yeah if we have to drill we gotta drill here's the hardware it comes with that looks like a 2.5 millimeter hex. So, set this up here again. Put you guys up there. Get my tool, put my garbage away. I'm gonna try doing videos a little bit different. the screw so yep it's a 2.5 millimeter Looks like we're gonna have to take tires off. Should be a problem though. This isn't the video I wanted to make coming back, but couldn't figure out another way to start this off again. I was like might as well just start recording while I do this. Well, yeah, the TRX4 Sport, that got a whole makeover. Whole different body and doesn't even look the same. It got stretched out, fit the ginormous body. Take that off just to the bodies. The um, I think Proline makes it. It's the Ford F650, massive. You'll probably see that in a video or two down the road. I need to get better. T 
tool to take any of the tires off, wheels off. So in the instructions, it says you gotta drill another hole for the bumper in the chassis. But the holes, and I probably should be using Loctite, but I don't have any right now. The holes that, ah, you just gotta drill it out because that's a smaller hole. Okay, that makes sense. All right, two should be all right in there for now. So, all right, here's what the bumper looks like. So you guys can see that. Hold the camera differently. So she's in there. That's better. Where'd my body go? What does it look like with the body on it? This is the worst part trying to bend these clips. There we go. There's, there we go. This is what it looks like. Not bad. Looks cool. Sticks out. Pretty much as the stock bumper did. Doesn't look as clean because this one's just all nasty and scratched up like my fingernails are. We'll set that off to the side. And so this video is long and all over the place. So I will probably put end up putting the new tires on these wheels in the next video. Yeah, so Thank you guys for watching. Um, somehow you enjoyed this video. Uh, want leave a like, subscribe, or comment on anything. Um, so yeah, get back into this and I need to shave. Wow. Anyway, see you guys next time. This is Fathead, and peace out. Maybe.